in participating at layer five and being an intern at layer five. Um, if you think that that's beneficial to you, then, then I'm, what I'm saying is I'm welcome, offering that up and welcoming it. Um, part of doing that, or part of my hope here for all of you is to, <clears throat> well, there are any number of things that potentially happen in the future, but minimally one of those is just to be able to, is to learn some new tech, make some new friends, um, learn a ton of things about tech, about the way that software, modern software is built in various languages, uh, modern cloud native infrastructure, and to be able to attribute that as line items on your resume. And part of that is <clears throat> online resumes take the form of LinkedIn, uh, of GitHub profiles, and of literal resumes. You know, um, and but part of the minimum offering, if you will, of, of that, that I want for you guys to be able to take away from today and forevermore for 20 years from now, if it's still helpful to me. Um, but I think it will be helpful in, over the next year to three years, or four years, five years, um, is to be able to reference, is to use Garish and myself as references if you need that during during an interview or I think we just lost. Or no, Subumar, you're still there, right? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Uh, and the references are used in a couple of different ways. One is to, as a public listing on your LinkedIn profile, to say, like, hey, I'm, <clears throat> I have more, I have these things under my belt, um, and we can, I can help you articulate what those things are and sort of reinforce that. Um, you know, help you with some bullet points if you're looking for those, or if you simply um, want to list a just the, the, a title and an association to the, the company, um, or if you don't want to do it at all, do it at all. That's that's no problem, no pressure. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm offering up, offering back to you guys whatever it is that I can, that we can. Um, so there's a there's a very nascent, very small company profile for layer five. Um, some of you are already familiar with this. Some of you are already following the page. Um, some of you have updated your LinkedIn profiles to highlight the fact that you, <clears throat> you're spending time here. Awesome. Uh, for some of you, it may make sense that your profile reads first and foremost as a student. And that, that makes sense. Maybe as a secondary, um, maybe it's volunteer experience. Maybe it's uh, here. Let me let me show you guys some things. Uh, so, Garish, by the way, are you recording it? Yes. Okay, great. So, um, I think this is helpful. Actually, this will be helpful um, to to Madhav and. Um, uh, Nipur, if she were to ever join, or other folks, I'm uh, forgetting everybody's name um, now, but <clears throat> sorry, my voice is pretty hoarse, so hopefully this is coming through okay. Anyway, I want to make sure that we're giving back to you guys as much as um, you're giving in, and I think that that's um, true and happening. If it wasn't happening and you weren't feeling fed intellectually, um, or from a passion perspective, you weren't getting your passions fed, I don't think that you would be here. So hopefully we maintain that balance where you're always getting something back enough that it makes up for the time that you're spending. And so one of those things that we can offer up is this is an association to layer five. Um, there, there are a couple of ways that you could um, list that. So one of those is um, as a, so I'm just bringing up my profile as an example because I don't have a different profile to bring up. but. Um, that one of those is as a current experience, which is probably the strongest way for you to um, use the, the association and highlight the work that you've done and get credit, if you will, in the minds of others, in the minds of potential employers or or whomever, for, for whomever is looking at it. And so my suggestion would be, at least for the time being, until we were to speak further, and please feel free to engage me in this discussion <clears throat> and speak further on it, but for the time, and speak further on um, this next suggestion, the suggestion I was going to have is, is to identify yourself as either one of two things, 
And by the way, I'm, I'm going through all this, and, I, and I'll say it for the last time. It's like, if you don't want to do this, don't do it. You're not. I, I don't. Um, no, there are no feelings here. I'm just trying to give you guys something because. Um, but, but is to either identify yourself as an intern at Layer Five, or as a contributor at Layer Five. I would use one of those two terms at the moment. Um, as we continue forth and more time passes, more contributions pass, the um, project goes forth, layer five goes forth, more things come forward. We should read, and you guys are still here and still doing things, we should reevaluate that. I think for some of you, I've hinted towards other things like, um, like at the point in time by which the tide turns <clears throat> or the tables turn where <coughs> When the table, oh, geez. <laughs> there are some people that are going to be very happy about me losing my voice. <laughs> Grief, stop laughing. Stop, stop laughing. <laughs> it's not a point. <clears throat> At the point by which you're giving more than you're receiving, let's talk about money. If if you're seriously making a contribution, and you're doing, and we're having to give you less, but we're rejecting your PRs less and less and less, or rather, maybe a better way of articulating that is, your con your level of contributions reached a point by which it's reached a point of significance. That, that I would reach into my pocket and say, like, hey, let me do, let me do something. Let me do, and, and probably before that would happen. So none of, none of you are there today, just being forthright. But, um, but tomorrow could be. And actually tomorrow you may end up not really liking the project or not really liking me or Garish per se. And, um, those things have happened in the past. It doesn't happen very often at all. But... But occasionally, right, it's just time to move on, time to do different things. That time will come, by the way, for all of you. And when it does, I will be very uh, happy and sad at the same time. I'll be happy that you graduated, so to speak, from whatever you were going to take from this time. So uh, all I'm saying is um, it's a natural thing. That time will come for everyone, for me as well. I eventually, you know, I don't know if it's 20 years from now and I retire or it's a year from now and we just say, look, this isn't worth, we can't do this, this isn't worth it. But it's inevitable that day will come. You'll get married and go have kids and stop doing this stuff or whatever you're going to do. <clears throat> um, so when it comes, I'll be happy because you will have learned whatever you, you will have taken whatever you've taken. For the most part, the, the way that I expect this is going to happen is um, one, of two thing, two, two, one of two things are going to happen. You're going to graduate school, you're going to get a full-time role, you're going to leverage what you've learned and the experience to help you land that full-time role and get paid to do something else. My hope would be that you would, you would still find value in spending time to participate in the community and it would still be rewarding for you. As you go to do that, I want to encourage you guys to make a name for yourselves. Um, there, I was talking to Gunjan and Ashish saying there's plenty of places for you to write a blog post and to get it put out into the public. I have a number of venues to do that on, not least of which is Layer 5 itself. <clears throat> um, I want that for you for you guys. I want that for Layer. It's helpful to Layer 5. It's helpful to Meshri. Um, I was telling Ashish and Gunjan that the projects that are being worked on here are quite cutting edge. Um, much of what you guys are doing is not understood by others today, um, but it, it will be. Service meshes, you know, you don't have to believe me, and I encourage you to be critical thinkers when I tell you stuff. Garish does all the time. He questions what I'm saying, and I'm thankful that he does, because if he just believed what I said, it's, it need, anytime someone's telling you something, you've got to question it. Use your filters. I don't don't just because I'm two decades older than you and have had a career and etc. Yeah, in general, I probably know some things that you don't. But not everybody in my seat or situation 
would I necessarily encourage you to take advice from? So, so to that extent, the same goes for me. Don't, some of the things I might say, don't believe it, or don't take it. But this next thing I'm gonna say <clears throat> um, it is something I believe to be true. You have to decide if you believe it to be true or not. Containers are a thing. People didn't believe it at first. It took about three years before they became relatively ubiquitous. Five years, five and a half years later, it, they are ubiquitous. They are here, they're here to stay. It's a way of doing, writing software and distributing software. Container orchestrators. Um, they are two years behind where containers are in terms of adoption and use. Pretty prevalent though. Service meshes really are, for containerized things, really is that third phase. And it's about uh, three years or so behind where container orchestrators are. So within about, my best guess is within about two years to three years, they're going to be wherever you find Kubernetes, you will find a mesh. I would, I would probably state it as that. <clears throat> All around. You're working on stuff that's in advance of problems that actually that people actually have today. People, the, the, the vast majority of the world is not running a mesh. The um, much less running multiple meshes. There are those that there are many that are running a mesh. There are lesser, but there are many who are running multiple meshes. People do have these problems, not nearly as many as potentially uh, that will come. And trust me, it will come. There are, there will be many. This is a thing. Moreover, it's not just even when they select to run one, Mastery should really help them run it well. For those of you that are interested in data science and machine learning, I'm pleased by that. While the project isn't ready for it today, tomorrow it absolutely will make its name on those use cases on machine learning on. Um, and um, so my point is Meshery will help people run a single mesh very well. Meshery, if we can get there, will bring more to a service mesh than is known today. And I haven't talked to you guys a lot about what that is. Um, frankly, we would probably stop the recording and then I would tell you what some of those things I think that that is. We don't need to stop the recording. <clears throat> um, so... It's so funny, we're sitting here looking at Lee's profile. Um, my point of having said all this is that I believe that this is a, a big old thing. I'm willing to bank the rest of my, not the, or yeah, the rest of my career on it being a big old thing. Um, there's a reason why I spend as much time in the TOC, in the um, CNCF as I do, advising um, other service mesh companies and lead up technology strategy for almost a billion dollar company, SolarWinds. Um, it's because I focus on what's coming next and how to help people use it. And that's been what my career has been about. It's been about management software and empowering engineers. And so I'm super, I'm really tickled that you guys are part of this. I, I really am. I recognize that we're all at various phases in our journey. Some of us have all of us have so much more yet to learn that it's, it's insane. Uh, and that certainly goes for myself as well. Um, many of us have, thing, everyone, I have already learned something from each one of you. Each one of you has forced me to learn something new. And I can readily recount that off the top of my tongue what those things are. I'm not going to because, because I want to get onto some other things. But, but I think each one of you, if you really think about some of the conversations we've had, you might be able to, um, you might know where it is that you talk or something. So think about that. Like a, that's a good thing, I think, for you guys to simmer on and really um, digest. Don't let other people push you down or because they've got a bunch of stars and stripes on their resume or what have you mean that, that you don't have a ton to offer. You really do. Um, I work my ass off for these stars and stripes that you see here. If, if you consider that they're stars and stripes, I, I do, but it doesn't mean that others do. People measure what it means to be successful or what it means to impact the world or do what, what, what life means in different ways. For me, these are the things that I focus on. And I'm assuming these are in part some of the things that you guys might focus on as well. 
I'm trying to welcome, embrace you more holistically and welcome you to participate in some of the other stuff that I do. And it's in part why we have kind of a general, during the community call, why we generally talk about community or like the other things that are going on. Because I actually want you guys to participate in those as well. I want um, the better that you do, uh, the better that the project will do, the better the layer five will do. We want to wrap smart people around what we're doing and and help and, and for everyone's uh, yeah, the success of each one of you uh, means for the success at least for the time that you're spending here means for the success of the project so my point all the way back to what i was saying is if you want to list intern at layer five or a contributor at layer five um either is appropriate um when you do you should and you type in layer five you should see the icon in layer five itself come up <clears throat> um, and I'll let you fill in the rest. If for any of you that you'd like to either for me to review or to suggest certain um, bullet points, uh, blah, 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 you know, um, then, you know, um, let, let me know and, and I can pop those over and stuff. Just one of the various ways in which I'm hoping to offer things back to you guys. If any one of you wants to speak at a meetup, meetup organizers in Bangalore and um, Chennai, and I will have no problem getting introduced to um, organizers in Jaipur, if there are any, or, or locally, or, or anyway, there's just, um, you guys know Harshini, she works on the NSMR adapter. I have submitted to speak at conferences with Harshini, trying to help pull her along and get her some exposure. I will do the same for the rest of you, and so will Garish. Um, it, it, there's a lot of ways for you guys to grow and, and, and not all of them are technical. Um, so part of this, it also means that, um, not only do you get to use that as a reference here and on your resume, but also just to the extent that anyone ever needs a reference, either a letter of reference or needs me to speak to someone, um, um let me know. Don't be shy. The answer, don't ask me. The answer from here forevermore, and I mean for like 20 years from now, because actually you'd be really surprised. You'd be really, really, really surprised how small the ecosystem is here and how many times you'll bump into the same people. It's likely that 20 years from now that our relationship has an impact on, I mean, hopefully it is having an impact and will, but I mean, the connection has an impact. So. Don't ask me that if it's okay for reference. Yes, it's okay. And it will be um, forever. And use it. Don't be shy about it. If I know someone or connected to someone, ask me to be introduced. I'll do it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I encourage you guys to, I encourage you guys to also bring, so as I talk to the, your school, uh, um, I'm going to ask them for a few things. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to ask them for all these things, and we'll see what they'll do. <clears throat> um, to help recognize the meetings like this, it would be beneficial if the school helped facilitate them, gave you a venue and a place to kind of talk and, like, bandwidth and or whatever, the, you know, stuff, coffee, food, shit, I don't know. You know. Um, I would ask them if they'll give you extra credit in the class or ask you to give you credit as a class or as a course, as an internship, as a recognized um, part of the syllabus um, and to bring others through. I'm gonna ask them to, at some point, maybe, I'm gonna suggest a bunch of things, maybe things that they've considered, maybe things that they haven't, but things like, um, hey, maybe you have um, community, uh, um, community ambassadors for a project like this, people who are certified on, or people who are, uh, can wear a badge or are certified on service meshes, um, people who have achieved a certain rung and understanding uh, of open source participation and have something of a certificate in um, all of the ways of, well, or most of the ways of Git, most of the ways of GitHub, and most of the ways in which um, open source collaboration and tooling and the flow and requests and et cetera are done. I mean, there's a lot to go through here. We, Layer 5 doesn't need to make up those certifications. There are other things that, anyway, I'm going to influence, to the extent that they engage, 
will absolutely influence their curriculum and tell them you're, you're teaching them the wrong languages. Or not, I wouldn't say that as much as I would say, here's some other things I think that you might be missing you need to teach folks. Moreover, here are some students that have gone through that. Um, how can we recognize these people? How can we get this up on your site? How can we identify Layer 5 as a partner um, within your environment? How can we funnel additional students through this type of a program? How can we establish a there's like There's a long, long list of potential things to do. Um, and you guys have been the, the guinea, guinea pigs is the wrong word, but you guys have been the, um, the uh, uh, path makers, the path pavers for proving this out and making it easy for me to have that type of discussion to say, look, there's already been, you know, eight or whatever students from your university that have done it. There are others around surrounding universities that have been interested. This is a thing like, you know, you're, you're help elevate your folks. Is, is your goal to educate your students and to land them a job? It absolutely should. I mean, for, clearly the first part is yes. The second part absolutely should be true. They should be helping um, have outreach and help land you guys jobs and have interviews and facilitate it. And I'm sure that they do. And this is exactly that. This is a company coming over saying that this is, um, and, and again, use your, use your self that this is true or not. Um, the stuff that I'm presenting to you guys, the the things that are being established here, like um, layer five, Meshery being the uh, topic of discussion on the service mesh interface community meeting hosted by Microsoft. And this is a world, a thought, a world leading, um, how do I, the most prominent effort of its kind. And there are other efforts of its kind um, like one coming from VMware, that meshery that they're beating on our door to participate in. Um, these are things that I want your guys' names associated with and you to get into. It, um, I'm making a lot of assumptions that like this space is interesting to you and you want to learn more. I think you don't have to learn. There's a lot about networking in here. There's a lot about networking in here. You don't have to necessarily learn a ton about networking. By the way, I'm, I, um, I have more Cisco uh, or rather, that I have, I think only one of you, and I don't remember who it was, has taken me up on the offer for um, educational materials. I think I sent a Golang book to, uh, might have been Ramesh, I don't know. Um, but there's a lot of resources that I have, and I know Garish has, and shit, Garish himself, himself, just his, his brain and things that he's able to tell you guys, that is a massive resource unto its own. Um, I was talking to you about some other resources with connections and resume bullet points and all these things, speaking and meetups and blog posts and things. It, it is it will warm my heart to see your name as a byline on a blog post. That would be off to see your name on a talk. Um, I, I, I'll tell you, like you know, this isn't. I'm not here to talk to you guys about me or that you want to necessarily even do anything that closely resembles me. Um, and you don't have to, but I'm, I want you to know that these are open to you if they're of interest. Um, I've given a talk or two, if you can't tell. And it's been pretty containery, pretty cloud native through and through. And frankly, this is outdated and there needs to be about three more talks added um, that are upcoming. Um, there's a lot going on. I need you guys' help. Selfishly, I need you. O'Reilly's asking me to create a Linkerd workshop. You might be familiar with the fact that we've been delivering an Istio workshop through O'Reilly. Well, they're ready for the Linkerd one. Linkerd is almost, you know, almost has enough capabilities to make that a thing. Ready to develop it? That's uh, something else that you guys can do. I was telling Ganjan and Ashish that, like. If uh, I said that, the, the, that at some point we need to have, we need to, and Grish and I need to work on this, but <clears throat> I think you all right now carry the title of either intern or contributor, whichever it is that you want to choose to associate with. At some point you need to carry the title of maintainer, code, code owner, something else. Right now, just for the project, um, it has seven 
or so sub projects, meaning there's docs, there's meshery UI, there's meshery, there's meshery CTL, there's layer five site, there's soon to be hopefully the meshery site. There's 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 various areas that uh, already are not. I, that's, they're not, you guys aren't there yet, but at some point, you'll have spent enough time in VCTL and you'll have your, your coding practices and your go have evolved to a point by which, and a trust level with myself and with Harish, that, um, that the maintainer, uh, that, that the ability to approve and merge PRs I really want for you guys to get there. That would be awesome. Nikhil and I just talked about a couple of Windows issues earlier today. I'd love for you guys to, to go create the issue, go implement the fix, go review it yourselves, and and release it. And like, have, be highly confident that you're able to do it. If you stay around long enough, I, there's no question in my mind that that will happen. I don't want my name, I don't want only my name and Grisha's name as those a, as those only two maintainers, I don't want to be the bottleneck, and I don't want to own it outright. I want for it to be, be you have a sense of pride and ownership in what you're doing and accomplishing, and that's awesome. And I try to point out the times where your work is being seen. I had shown to um, Dungeon and Ashish earlier, hopefully you guys are seeing what's um, really um, a um, remedial dashboard, but a dashboard that simply tracks what's more or less anonymous uh, metrics of people that use Meshery. So I'll just show you this real quick. That there's a graph right here. This one, it's it's a per, it's an events per month. So what all is happening every month? There's different events. There's when some new user for the first ever time uses Meshery, that's a sign up event. New user came to Meshery and tried it for the first time. If we look back in March, when we started tracking this, three people in that month signed, tried it for the first time. We probably had a workshop where more people tried it, 17 in April. 27 in May, we definitely had a workshop. I think we had KubeCon. Uh, EU, where we did, where Grish delivered a workshop and had that ton of time. Um, and anyway, you, you know, you could track like, hey, we had two workshops, I think, in the month of one in Guadalajara. Oh okay, shit, we might have three: Guadalajara, Austria, and um, Canada. And we've just recently refactored the workshop. Like the workshop, I was telling Grish and Ashish, Dungeon and Ashish, that, that that I'm being asked to present here in Austin a workshop. And I can't, I've got a conflict. Um, I wish that others local to Austin would step up and be able to do it. Um, and the thing is, is that doesn't just happen in Austin, it happens everywhere. So at some point, it, it would be, I would be, again, very tickled to see you guys delivering a workshop and teaching other people about the project, about service meshes, etc. And then for this count to go up, we just want more, more and more people to use it. So. This is an awesome and impressive thing that last month, 41 people for the first time ever used the tool, which very soon will mean that they are running your code if they're not already doing it. And by very soon, I mean just because we're not like forcing people to use Meshery CTL just yet is the, I, is the one I was thinking of, but they're already using it because they're looking at the docs, they're looking at the landscape, they're looking at how to contribute, you know, all the things you guys are touching. They're using the adapters, et cetera. They're, they're using the builds that you guys did by distributing the work, the GitHub actions across everything. Um, we just started this month. We're in on day two. Already three new people have tried Meshery. That's awesome. That means uh, more than one a day so far. We'll see what this ends up looking like at the end of the month. My point is, you guys don't, don't you're not even aware of um, how much these things get used. So Anton, the guy that introduced himself in the Meshri channel, um, he goes by Ant, he lives in Israel. He's been giving some workshops on service map Istio. He really likes the one that we have. I think he's going to come and maybe use ours and contribute to it. 
that's great. He's going to tell more people about Meshri and teach them that. He signed up. He used Meshri for the first time today. And he actually provided comment back in the channel. And actually, yeah, and so this is great. Um, my point is, is like, like you guys saw Anton say things, but what you aren't seeing is other people, like employees at SAP, come over and sign up for the first time and use it. I have no idea who Joshua is, but that's awesome. And, and so you, you're, I guess what I'm saying is use your filters, but trust me when I'm telling you, you're doing impactful things. And what I was telling Ashish and Gunjan earlier is if you're working on docs in Meshri, count your blessings. I would submit to you that that's the best pro aspect of the project for you to be working on. And I know that that sounds counterintuitive and, and you're saying, what? Like, that's not, co I'm not coding. I'm not being able to write down that hard skill. Yeah, uh, that you need the hard skills, but what you will need perpetually and forevermore and what will service you better, trust me, better than, better than you know, is your ability to communicate effectively, concisely, cleanly, and in written form. And like it or not, in English. Um, I mean, I'm not saying you guys don't like it, but just, and, and that, that is if you're working, and other things that you really need. And, and as a matter of fact, I would say, count your blessings when you get your PR rejected, or, or that you get rejected in terms of like asking for changes. That's when you're really gonna learn. I've been doing some of you a disservice. For some of you, I, you've been submitting the PR, and I will edit it on your behalf and accept it. Because it takes me a long damn time to go over and describe what you've done wrong and kind of re-articulate it and make sure that you understood it. And, and then maybe you don't, you have another question, and I've got to answer it. And so sometimes I'll just make the change and submit it. Uh, I would say it feels backwards, I expect, but I would say that I'm doing you a disservice if I do that. The real service is when I reject it and say, no, you got to go back and change it. That's the point by when then you understand that, oh, I didn't, the sentence doesn't make sense. The code, the logic was wrong. It wasn't as clean. It could be shorter, whatever the thing is. And it's, it's, it's not about me. It's, and Harish is doing this as well. Be happy when those things happen. Because really, if, if the PR is just going through and going through, uh, I'm not sure how much you're learning in that particular, there, there's things you're learning, you're learning the flow, the process, you're learning how good it feels to get things in and making it, you know, there's all kinds of good things. But I'm saying, sometimes you don't, you don't understand that like the, when you sometimes feel like the, your work is the worst, that's actually when you're learning the most. Um, some of you may not have had to experience this yet, although I expect many of you have. You ever had a bully at school, or if you've ever um, had to put up with a crappy teacher, one that was being mean to you, mm, while in in the moment it didn't feel good, and you didn't particularly care for it, and you really wanted to have a different teacher, or you wanted that bully to go away, if you were forced to see it through, either stand up to the bully or figure out how to ignore them or put up with the teacher and just grin and bear it, that's when you learn. And it's in those moments that, that you're learning and getting better. And so if you ever feel like you're doing grunt work on the project or you're getting rejected or people are being mean to you or Lee doesn't want like what you're doing or Garish is saying this is silly, to take it, you know. If you ever feel like it's a negative thing, take a step back and think about what I just said. Because that, that's the truth. And for as many people as have been a-holes to me throughout my career, it's hard for me to say it even now, but I appreciate Richard, the a-hole at Pelco, who tried to get me fired. I learned a ton from him and ended up uh, winning. And anyway, just a specific example, but my point is, like, if it wasn't for him being a jerk, I wouldn't have had to figure out <clears throat> how to deal with jerks. Because guess what? They're everywhere. 
and they are all around you. All right, I was actually intending not to even talk today because of my voice. It's funny, I guess I just kind of got started on um, how excited I am for you guys and for the project. Um, the, here's an interesting fact, and I wish well for um, Mata. I'll, just, I'll pick on him because he's just the first name that I see that comes to mind. Like, we've had great interactions. I appreciate his contributions. I hope to see him on the community call and next Wednesday. That would be awesome. Um, and, and he may have other things going on. He may have other opportunities and better things happening, and that's, I hope he does. If he doesn't, and he's just uh, having some dinner and having a good time, that's, that's not a bad thing. But you guys are taking a step forward and either skipping dinner or eating it early and making sure that you're here so you can grow and learn something. And uh, not everybody has the perseverance to do it. So I mean, you guys are already winning. This is what I'm saying. You're already doing well. Okay, so all of that to say, go update your LinkedIn profile if you want to. Um, go, uh, go get active on Twitter. Go send me your resume to review if you want. And go, the, these things are open to you. I don't always have the time to do it, and, and, and I keep saying I, I mean to say we, we respect the region. Um, so, I have to say this, uh, that I have to tell you guys not to be shy and to go ahead and ask for these things. In part, I don't know that I need to tell you that, one, because we have a, a relationship that's growing, but two, because you've already shown that you're able to take initiative and not be shy, and you're able to reach out and make a connection and capitalize on it. That's a really awesome ability to have. You guys have already demonstrated it. I would encourage you to continue to do it and, and, and ask. So something else I wanted to share is um, you probably noticed that like between layer5.io, <clears throat> Meshery, and the Twitter accounts for Meshery and Layer 5 and things, it's the same logo everywhere. It's the same kind of gray, white, matrix, cube-looking icon. We've been working on trying to figure out something new and for a long time. And I think I've sent, at least to a number of you, various designs um, and solicited your feedback. And it's, I think that you know, many things are hard naming a project, creating a logo, you know, many things. Um, but I think we might have arrived at, on at least a logo for layer five to help separate it as a community, it as a company from Meshery as a project. When we get the Meshery.io project site, that will really help separate the two <clears throat> or help people understand that there's there are two things. I want to show you guys the potential logos. Um, I just got a new laptop, so I'm missing some things. Uh, I don't have all my the software installed, so one second. Some of you guys gave feedback on the logos previously. That was just really helpful. And so if you be, you're encouraged to be critical as I show you. Please be critical. If you don't like them, it doesn't make sense, then um, we should, you know, I want to hear that now before we go forward. So in Slack, you've already seen kind of part of it. And you've seen that five, that being the five of layer five. Here is, I guess, the one example that I can find. <clears throat> I don't think.
think that this is entirely complete, but what you're seeing is, um, I, actually, I won't talk you guys through all the design and all the thought behind it because it actually it is a lot. Uh, I mean, I'll just let it speak for itself. This is actually one revision old. The current revision has a small little tail on the five because we're trying to help people not read this as layers, as an S, but as a five. And when we add the little tail, we're trying to help ensure that people, like if you can see it right here, that people don't see this as a six as we add the tail. So <clears throat> it's, it's a bit hard, but um, the, so that's for the community, for the company. There's another one. Uh, for I shared these uh, photos that Grish sent. So, uh, yeah, I guess you guys had actually seen it, but maybe not up close. Um, there's another one that um, is is uh, uh, being suggested for Meshery. I want to get your feedback on. It. <laughs> I can get it. bear with me as I try. <laughs> Um, Grish, do you have the measuring logo? Um, no, not, not right away, just give me a second. See here are the old ones. Just give me one second. So guys, I'll try to get, share this picture with you so you can get, look at it yourselves for a while. Anyway, there, there were some earlier designs around things like this. Um, uh, but the point for Meshery was, we're also kind of looking at things like this. Things like this with the five. Um, here it is. Um, there have been lots and lots and lots of designs. Um, this one probably needs a slight refinement, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Any, any comments on the design? Uh, 
Um, so if you have comments, you, you know, verbally now or in the Slack is fine. Um, I think the things to take away from today are um, be at leisure to use Grish and myself as reference, be at leisure to follow the Layer 5 page in LinkedIn to update your profile to work it, to show your experience at Layer 5. <clears throat> now I remember actually the thing I was going to the reason that I brought up my, my LinkedIn profile, um, the reason I brought it up was to say, I think that the most um, impactful way to highlight that is under your experience. That said, you, it is also appropriate or would be appropriate to alternatively list that as volunteer experience if you want, or whatever your preference uh, being. Um, and so, yeah, that, that was why I brought it up. The other thing I was going to say <clears throat> is that I do have a lot of resources outside of just Grish and myself and the learnings that you're taking. The, the, uh, I was going to say about service meshes being network-centric, there's a lot to learn about networking, and I've spent a long time studying networking. teaching network, actually. Um, and so not to say that you guys need to go get certified or what have you, but just um, clearly certifications have been a focus of mine, at least at, at one point, and um, sometimes are a helpful way of signaling to people that you know certain subject matter. Okay, cool. Well, hey, that's, I'm going to give my voice a rest and let you guys have the next five minutes before we, we end. Who's got, and you, you, yeah, we clearly don't have enough time to actually show work off, but anybody got any comments or thoughts or feedback on all the stuff that I'd said? Uh, I'd like to thank you so this means a lot, lot to us, and uh, uh, I will look forward to add uh, the experience, uh, the talk you shared, like uh, adding a contributor profile in LinkedIn or something. I would try to add that. Thank you. And then, okay, good. Good. Uh, well, hopefully much of what I had said was just very encouraging. Um, honestly, um, I think that I would bet by the end of this year that we're probably, yes, it was, Suvum, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, that's awesome, man. I can't wait to see your update in LinkedIn. I'll go, um, well, I would normally go celebrate it on LinkedIn, if I don't, that's only because, uh, and Garish, can we go ahead and stop the recording? <laughs>